Sorry, Zoom. Good morning. Good morning, President. Good. Good morning. Good morning. We bless the living God for the gift of us for today. Amen. Let us pray. If it is still Father, King of glory. I am the I am Father. We come before the throne of grace this morning to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God of Martin. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life for today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your mess you have renewed this morning. Thank you, Father. In the life of your children, in our life this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you, Father, for our body. Thank you for our soul. Thank you for our spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, my King, my Redeemer, for the free oxygen that we are breathing this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Adonai Amen. Ibrahim, you are so good. You are so great to look out of mercy. There is no one to compare to you. Amen. You alone are God. The God that created the heaven and the, the earth Amen. and everything in it. Amen. We thank you. Thank we you, thank you because you are the God that coordinated day and night. Amen. You will never sleep, you will never slumber. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you, Father. Only who know where the store room of snow is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The God over the sky, Amen. the God over the sea, Amen. is you, the God of mercy. We bless your holy name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. My King, my Redeemer, here we are before you this morning. I like to offer ourselves this morning Amen. as a living sacrifice to you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We offer our body, soul, and spirit, Amen. our heart, our mind to you this morning you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We come to surrender this day to you, the God of glory, Amen. that you walk before us. Amen. I will make every good God the way straight Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We come before to receive our blessing this morning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, Father, that blesses the children. Lord Father, Jesus. this morning we need your blessing upon Amen. our life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As to Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we come to worship you, to glorify your holy name, Amen. and to hear from you. Talk to us this morning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Lead us, I do not hear him in the name of Jesus. In the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we surrender to you. Thank you don't live in God. Lead us today. Teach us your will. Teach us your decree. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, order our step. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You don't live in God. Order the step of your children. Those are going to work. Those are going to do the activities for today, my King, my Redeemer. Oh, go with them. Teach them your way. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we want to hear from you today. Oh, Lord, according to your word, that says that. Thank you. So we shall hear the voice behind our ears. Amen. I said, this is the way. Amen. Go to the right or Amen. go to the left, according to Isaiah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify Amen. your holy name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus. We feel the blood of Jesus upon our life. We wash the activities. Remove every dead. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every evil seed. And then have a soul upon our life. Amen. We cleanse, we remove it by the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus that cover Amen. everything that belongs to us today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Papa, we bless you. Jesus, we bless you. We come Amen. against every power of darkness, Amen. every plan of the enemy against your children. We cancel it by the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I cancel every evil dream by the power of the blood of Jesus, Amen. by the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I paralyze, I paralyze every Amen. activity Amen. of the enemy, whatever they have a plan overnight Amen. to accomplish it this morning. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God of glory, we lift your name higher. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus, you have a name which is the far above all names. Amen. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow down. Amen. So this morning, every power, every principality, every Amen. power of darkness shall bow down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, the word that says, if Surely they shall gather, hallelujah, my yes. brothers come from you. Yes. Whoever shall gather against us, my father, they shall fall Amen. under our feet in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I condemn every tongue that spoke evil words, words concerning your people, concerning God. So that's night Amen. in the name of Jesus. I cancel the hand to me a point in the maximum of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, in this moment of our meditation, this morning, Amen. speak to us. Amen. To us, teach Amen. us, and they did us. We surrender ourselves to you. Amen. We accept for your instrument to use us this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we need fresh oil, fresh Amen. anointing this morning, Amen. fresh Amen. fire this morning upon our life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we Amen. bless you, Lord God Almighty. We bless who I am and I am. Amen. We bless you, our Prince of Peace. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to sing verse number 37 as a dear patent for the water. We are test of him. That's why we are working this morning. Amen. One, two, three to go. As a dear for the water, so my soul lost after you. You are Lord of my heart, desire and I long to worship you. You are Lord of my strength, my shield. To you I look, may my spirit you are Lord of my heart, desire and I long to worship you. <coughs> I want you more than gold or silver only, you can satisfy. You are Lord, I believe. Give her and the earth for all my eyes. You are Lord, all my strength, my shield. To you are Lord, may my spirit yield. You are Lord, all my heart, desire and I love. To worship you. You are my friend, and you are my brother. If I know you are a king, I love you more than any other so much more than anything. You are Lord, I must sweat my sheet. To you I love, may my spirit yield. You are Lord, I my heart, desire and I long to worship you. Yes, as a dear person for the words that I will show, I will experience. But we long to see our God to hear from our God. Amen. Hallelujah. The next one, one, six, seven. Okay. What is wrong? Give me all in my life. Give me the name. Give me all in my life. I pray, give me oil in my life, keep me burning, keep me burning to the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, 
Singles are not to the king of kings. Singles are not. Singles are not. Singles are not to the king. Make me fish as of men and keep me seeking. Make me fish as of men, I pray. Make me fish as of men, keep me seeking. Keep me seeking to the break of day. Sing, O Zaina. Sing, O Zaina. Sing, O Zaina, to the King of Kings. Sing, O Zaina. Sing, O Zaina. Sing, O Zaina, to the King. Give me joy in my heart. Keep me singing. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing. <laughs> Give me singing to the break of day. Sing, O Zaina, sing, O Zaina, sing, O Zaina, to the King of Kings. Sing, O Zaina, sing, O Zaina, sing, O to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Serving to the break of day. Sing, Sing, to the king of kings. Sing, to the king. He is the King of Kings. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the adoration because he is God, God Almighty, God of power. Hallelujah. We bless his holy name. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. Seven, four, six. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our soul regret to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we offer for fear. Oh, one in the pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. How ah, we try our adaptation is a trouble anyway. We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find the friends so faithful who we all are so to share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Ah, we we can have the land. Oh, we 
These are wonderful friends. What should we need to bring all our sorrow, our burden at his feet, and he will take over, he will take control upon our life. We cannot carry our burden because he, the one who took our sorrow, our affliction, he said, come to me, you who are heavy, and I will give you rest. So this morning, we are going to give him all the day, whatever the we need, we are going to surrender to him this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, this morning, our reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. Chapter 18, from verse 1 to Luke. Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. From verse 1 to 8. Amen. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Then he spoke a parable to, to them that men always ought to pray and not to lose heart, saying, There was a certain city. There was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God, nor regard men. Now there was a window in that city, and she came to him saying, Get justice for me, for my adversary. And he would not fall, he will not for a while, but afterward, he said within himself, though I do not fear God, nor regard men, yet because this window troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual, continual coming, she may, she weary me. Then the Lord said, Here was the unjust judge said, and shall God not avenge his one elect who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them steadily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? It is the question. Hallelujah. When the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? We thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. My brethren, this little uh, reading, Jesus himself is exhorting us, encouraging us, that men, we are ought always to pray and not to relent. Pray which shall the same until the day when Jesus will come. Because in this world, he says that in this world, we will have a trouble. In this world we are living, especially in this world, this since the last year, this year, we see what is going around in the world. People, we don't know what is going on, what is going to happen tomorrow. Even the people in the authority themselves, they don't know what to do. The scientific, the scientists, they are looking at this one, they don't have any solution. 
men, women, or God, we are praying. We don't know exactly God has spoken. I don't know God is speaking, but we are not uh, paying attention. We're praying. So what is the solution? It's a prayer. Prayer. Prayer brings the answer. Prayer brings solution. Prayer brings deliverance. Prayer brings everything that we need. Open the door. Prayer brings breakthrough. So man ought to pray, not to get weary. We need to pray all the time. Amen? Amen. He says, he gave us the example of one a judge and a widow. A widow has a, a case that he, she brought it to the judge. The Bible says, he says that that judge doesn't care about anything. He doesn't fear God, he doesn't fear men. So he does whatever he wants to do. But that's a poor widow has a case that she brought to him. But he didn't consider it. But the woman, the widow, didn't give up. She continually coming to him, asking him to settle his case. He continually coming, he continually came coming, he didn't give up. He didn't get weary, he didn't get tired. Why? Because he wanted his her, her, her case to be settled. So my brethren, your case that you bring to Jesus, don't get weary. Coming to Jesus, asking Jesus to settle your case. Amen. Keep on coming to Jesus, asking him to, to heal you. Continue to come to Jesus, asking him to give you the wife you are looking, to give you the husband you are looking. Amen. Keep on continue to Jesus to set you free from the work of the enemy, from that sin that we cannot uh, give up. Continually coming to Jesus to ask him to settle your home, your marriage, Amen. your children. Amen. Don't give up. Don't relax. Amen? Amen. You need to be like this woman. As she was continually uh, disturbing the judge, he says that even though that I'm not fearing God, he doesn't fear God. It doesn't regard men. But because that widow, that woman is a disturbing me, I will settle her case so that she stopped coming and disturbing me. Mm. Amen? Amen. And then Jesus said, look here, what a just Jesus said. And shall God not avenge his own elect? who cry out to him day and night. The God that created you. That God cannot come and give you the solution, give you the answer to your problem. He's the one that put his ears in your body. He's hearing you. He's the one that puts eyes in you. He has the eyes to see you wherever you are in the fourth corner of this, this world. Amen. Wherever you are, the eyes of God is upon you. Amen. Amen. So my brethren, we need to continue to come to him and seeking him and asking him. We are going to read again in the book of Luke 11. Luke chapter 11, verse 5, 11 from verse 5 to 13. Jesus said, and he said to them, which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves for a friend of mine 
has come to me on his journey and I had nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, do not trouble me. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and to give to you. I said to you, though he will not rise and they give to him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and they give him as many as he needs. So I said to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receive. And he who seek, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be open. If a son asks for a bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an, uh, uh, an egg, Will he offer him a scorpion? If you then be evil, you know how to give good gift to your children. How much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? My brother, this is Jesus speaking here. He give again in the second example. You have a friend who come to disturb you give, at night. You're already in bed with your children. And the friend that kept on knocking the door, kept on knocking the door. He said that here we are arose not because he's a friend, but because of the disturb disturb disturbances. Yeah, because it's the persistence of knocking making the noise. So he fed up and you have to arrest and they give as much, mm. as much for you don't come back again to, give, to, to, to ask again. My brethren, this is our heavenly father. Whatever you have in your heart, whatever your heart desire, whatever it is happening in your life, we have Jesus, we have a God, the father, God, the Son, and the God, the Holy Spirit. We need to keep on knocking. We need to keep on asking until he gives to us everything we need. Amen. 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 Because he knows that we are in the needs. He's our heavenly father. As he says here, we keep on knocking, keep on asking, keep on seeking. Amen. Amen. And he gave us an example here. If your daughter, if your son, ask your mommy, mommy, daddy, I need some bread to eat. Are you going to give him a scorpion? No. no. We are going to give him bread so that he can eat and be satisfied. Amen. If he asks for clothes, are you going to give him a, a, a sackcloth? No. no. We are going to buy the best one for him and for her. How much more our Heavenly Father, whether we come to him with our problems, with our uh, affliction, he sees the oppression, how the enemy is oppressing you, oppressing me daily. He is there to set us free. So we ought to pray and not to relax, ought to pray and not to get weary. Amen? He is there to answer us. If your ass is, is a tarry, wet, is coming, he is preparing a good thing for you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We look in the book of Daniel, chapter 7. Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. And uh, 13 and the 14. Because Jesus is saying at the end, that because of the problem we are facing daily, we don't know. 
And like the suggestion is coming here, the uh, vaccine, the passport, we don't know what is behind everything. We don't know. So Jesus is asking us, so at the end of the chapter, we try to read on the Luke 18, verse 1 to 8. In the verse 8, it says, When he will come back in this earth, can he find the faith in this earth, in you and me? Because maybe we are asking you don't receive whatever we want, and then we go to look at elsewhere. Amen. Daniel chapter 7 says, Daniel says, I was watching in the night vision. And behold, one like a son of man coming with the cloud, coming with the cloud of heaven. He came to the ashes of days, and they brought him near before him. Then to him was a given dominion and a glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and the language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, the one which shall not be destroyed. My brethren, Jesus is coming soon. As he asked us here in the book of Luke chapter 18, that when he's coming, may he find the faith in this world. Right. I don't know, maybe your problem, maybe you are fasting, you have a lost uh, your hope. Maybe you say, I have a prayed a lot, and I don't have get what I'm, what I'm asking for. Maybe you say that this affliction is too much. Maybe I have to go to look for which doctor to give me the quick answer. Maybe you say, as this poverty, as we watched the film last time, the poverty is too much. Please, they uh, told me to the summer club. I need the money, money now, 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 now. And Jesus, as the elder says, when he comes back, will he find again the faith in this world? Yeah. Children of God, are we getting weary because of the problem we are facing? Are we getting weary because of the lack? Because of sickness, because of disease. They say if you go to that man, don't know, you will get a solution. Because if you go, you could go to that say, club, you get a solution. My brethren, our father, heavenly father, he has everything. What you want us is to draw near, closer to him. Keep on asking, keep on knocking. And when we are waiting, we need to live in a life of righteousness. Certification, behold us, he is holy. Avoid the sin, avoid memory, complaining. Because the memory, complaining, that many of Israel did the, the perish in the wilderness. They couldn't see the, the promised land. Do God have a promise to good things? Stop complaining, stop memorying. Amen? Amen. Because God is God, He's there to give you whatever you want. Amen. Amen. We look for the Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Verse 26. Okay. Jesus says, for, for whoever is ashamed of me and my works, and my word of him, the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his glory and in his and his fathers and of the holy angel. As we children of God, this time of a certainty we don't know, as I said before. We don't know those uh, the, this pandemic was taking us. We don't know even the president, the scientist, everybody, we don't know. But we as a children of God, we know one thing. God has the truth. The, the Bible also already written it. It is the sign of the end. What we should just to get ready. 
what we should do, draw near closer to God, to increase our prayer life, to increase our sanctification, to increase our honesty, to be honest with our God, to live in a life of holiness, to keep, to keep doing his work. Don't go to look solution anywhere. If you go to look to solution anywhere, as Jesus says here in the book of uh, Luke chapter 9, 26, you deny him. When you deny him, when he's coming to his glory, he will deny you too before his father and before his angel. Mm. So my brethren, don't go look solution anywhere else. Keep on knocking, keep on asking. God is there to answer your, answer your prayer, answer your, and they give you your heart desire. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. And in the look at 12 to verse 14, what he says, he said, therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour we do not expect. Amen. Jesus is coming the hour we do not expect. We don't know the time, we don't know when, we don't know when. Mm -hmm. Even Jesus himself in the book of uh, uh, after chapter, chapter one, when he said the disciple asking him in verse seven, that is that they are coming to establish the kingdom. He said that no one knows, even the father. Mm -hmm. Only father he, his one authority know the time. So we need to get to it ready. Don't go elsewhere. Keep your faith. Keep on looking on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Apostle, you want to add something? No, the only thing I would like to add is just to say we have to continually pray. Because mm -hmm. uh, like those voodoo people, that is just what came to me. Like those voodoo people, mm -hmm. they don't also get it right. Mm -hmm. and they never get it right mm -hmm. so if you are looking for solution and you are going to, you go to them the first time they will tell you what to do mm -hmm. then you do that thing it did not work you will go back to them mm -hmm. so that one did not work you will still go back to them mm -hmm. then you will see the issue the woman with the issue of blood mm -hmm. he said he spent everything that she had mm -hmm. with physicians how many uh, which physician then both voodoo people and everyone that is where she spent her money but at the end she later came back to christ mm -hmm. so until we come back to christ mm -hmm. that problem that we are thinking that is going to solve very uh, uh, quickly it cannot be solved it's only when we are in christ that that problem will be solved and also when we are uh, waiting and uh, continually pressing god's time is always the best mm -hmm. he may not give it to us the time we want it because he wants us to be more stronger in i mean in relationship with him then he may not give us give it to us immediately mm -hmm. it happened in the time of uh, the children of israel too when they were going to the to to their promised land from egypt he take them through a longer way instead of a journey that would take very few days they now take them to, through a journey of 40 days and 40 nights. So we have to be very strong and continually present. There is, there is gift or there is a purpose whereby God wants us to continually present and ask him. That is just my contribution. Hallelujah. Amen. Bonjour, mes bien-aimés. Notre méditation de ce matin, c'est sur le livre et sur l'évangile, c'est dans ce livre chapitre 18, du verset 1 à verset 8. Je lis au nom de Jésus-Christ. Jésus leur adressa une parabole pour montrer qu'il faut toujours prier et ne pas se relâcher. Il dit, il y avait dans une, dans une ville un juge qui ne craignait point Dieu et qui n'avait d'égard pour personne. Il y avait aussi dans cette ville une veuve qui venait lui dire, « Fais-moi justice de ma partie adverse. » Pendant longtemps, il refusa. Mais ensuite, il dit à lui-même, « Quoi que je ne crains point Dieu et que je n'ai des, des gars pour personne, néanmoins, parce que cette veuve m'importune, je lui ferai justice, afin qu'elle ne vienne pas sans cesse me, me rompre la tête. 
Le Seigneur ajouta, « Attendez ce que dit le juge unique. Et Dieu ne fera-t-il pas justice à ses élus qui crient à lui jour et nuit? Il, t il, t il tardera et tardera-t-il à leur égard? Je vous le dis, il fera promptement justice. Mais quand le Fils de l'homme viendra, trouvera-t-il la foi sur la terre? Ici, c'est Jésus qui nous donne, nous donne une parabole. Amen. Il nous dit, il y avait un juge. Il y avait un juge qui ne craignait point Dieu. Mais dans cette ville, et dans cette ville aussi, il y avait une veuve qui avait un problème, qui avait amené son problème devant le juge pour qu'il fasse justice. Mais le juge ne, ne voulait pas. Et ça fait longtemps. Et cette veuve n'a pas de n'a pas stoppé, n'a pas euh, 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 stoppé de venir pour le déranger. Et, et le juge a dit, néanmoins, malgré que je ne crée pas Dieu, malgré que je ne prends pas égard aux, aux gens, mais cette femme, cette veuve qui vient me, porter, me, me déranger chaque jour, je veux le faire justice afin qu'elle ne vienne plus me déranger. C'est pourquoi Jésus nous dit, l'homme, alléluia, il dit qu'il faut toujours prier et ne pas se relâcher. L'homme, mais bien aimé, toi et moi, nous devons toujours continuer à demander à Dieu, à prier, il ne faut pas se relâcher. Quel que soit le problème que tu as, quel que soit le, 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 la, la difficulté, quel que soit la maladie, quel que soit le problème, il ne faut pas euh, perdre de Peur de courage, il ne faut pas désespérer, il faut toujours continuer à demander et Dieu va t'exercer. Il nous a donné cette parabole pour nous montrer que, regarde cette juge, un homme, puisque la femme a l'opportunité de euh, déranger chaque jour à cause de son problème, il s'est décidé de lui donner ce qu'il avait besoin. Alors, combien plus forte raison notre Père Céleste, si nous continuons à demander, et va nous donner ce que nous avons besoin. Si Dieu, Dieu fera justice à ce Zélie qui crie à jour et nuit, il te fera justice, il te délivrera, il va te guérir, il va te donner ce que tu as besoin. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Mais il ne faut pas perdre courage, il ne faut pas perdre ta foi, il faut garder ta foi. Amen. Il a dit, quand le Fils de l'homme viendra, trouvera-t-il la foi sur cette terre à cause de sa affliction, à cause des maladies, à cause des problèmes que nous sommes en train de traverser jour et nuit. Mais bien aimé, il ne faut pas perdre la foi. Amen. Il faut continuer à prier, continuer à demander, puisque notre Dieu est là. Il va te donner tout ce que tu demandes. Il est Dieu d'amour. Il est Dieu juste. Amen. So, il faut continuer, continuer à demander, continuer à espérer. Continue à, à, à frapper à la porte, continue, il va toujours venir ouvrir la porte pour toi. Jésus a donné encore un autre exemple sur le livre de Luc, Évangile selon saint Luc, chapitre 11, à partir du verset 5 à 13. Il a dit S'il est de voir un ami, qu'il aille le trouver au milieu de la nuit pour lui dire Ami, prête-moi trois pains. Car un de mes amis est arrivé de voyage chez moi et je n'ai rien à lui offrir. Et si, à l'intérieur de sa maison, cet ami lui répondit, « Ne m'importune pas, la porte est déjà fermée. Mes enfants et moi sommes au lit. Je ne puis me lever pour te donner de paix. » Je vous le dis, même s'il se lève hein, pour lui donner parce que c'est son ami, mais il se lèvera à cause de son opportunité et lui donnera tout ce dont il a besoin. Et moi, je vous le dis, demandez et l'on vous donnera. Cherchez et vous trouverez. Frappez et l'on vous ouvrira. Quiconque demande, reçoit. Celui qui cherche, et trouve. Et on ouvre à celui qui frappe. Il dit, quel est parmi vous le peur qui donne une pierre à son fils s'il si lui demande du pain? Ou s'il si lui demande un poisson, lui donnera-t-il un serpent au lieu d'un poisson? 
ou si il demande un œuf, lui donneras-tu un scorpion? Si donc méchant que vous êtes, vous savez donner de bonnes choses à vos enfants, et à combien plus forte raison le Père Céleste se donnera-t-il de cet esprit à celui qui le demande? De cet esprit est un autre aide, mais bien aimé. Toi qui es affligé, les médecins ont dit qu'il n'y a rien qui peut le faire, que tu vas prendre le médicament toute ta vie. On t'a donné peut-être autant de jours pour vivre, peut-être des années pour vivre. Mais c'est Dieu, Dieu qui a le dernier mot. Il ne faut pas perdre l'espoir. Il faut continuer à frapper, continuer à prier, continuer à, à demander, continuer à louer l'éternel. Il est là, il t'écoute. Il prépare quelque chose de bon pour toi. Malgré la, la, après la pluie vient le beau temps. Malgré la longueur de la nuit, le jour appara apparaîtra toujours. Même bien aimé, il ne faut pas perdre courage. Continuez à frapper, continuez à demander, continuez à prier et continuez à lire la parole de Dieu. Et demandez toujours le Saint-Esprit de nous aider à augmenter notre foi. Quand Jésus-Christ va venir, il faut que tu te trouves prête pour que tu sois avec lui. Le monde n'a rien à offrir. Le monde nous amène toujours dans les troubles. Vous voyez ce que la pandémie, que la pandémie a apporté. Tous les plats qu'on avait pour ces deux ans, il y en a personne n'a pu euh, euh, accomplir ces projets à cause de cette pandémie. Que nous sommes limités, enfermés dans nos maisons. Mais il n'y a que Dieu qui connaît la fin de cette pandémie. Il n'y a que Dieu qui connaît comment il va terminer ça. Il n'y a que Dieu qui connaît. Même le dernier jour, il n'y a que Dieu qui connaît. Amen. Amen. Alors, nous devons nous attacher à notre Dieu. Nous devons continuer à prier. Comme Jésus-Christ a dit, l'homme, nous devons toujours continuer à prier et ne pas perdre notre espoir, puisque Dieu, Jésus-Christ, est notre espoir. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Il faut toujours prier et ne pas se relâcher. C'est ça notre thème d'aujourd'hui. Prier toujours et ne pas se relâcher. Amen. Amen. Que vous bénisse. Amen. Vous pouvez Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we just have to pray. I forgot to let's go back to we're going to pray that God should give to us the power to continually asking or seeking him. Amen. Because to read the Bible, to pray, and to attend to God's name. That is the most difficult thing in the world. Because if you, if you can pray, if you can have a good relationship with God, every other thing is done. Mm. But the devil, this is the Weapon. This is his weapon. He gives us weakness. If you want to read the Bible, no matter, unless God has already put it in you, God, or I may have already stand by you and say, no matter how you say you want to read your Bible, not only read your Bible, you read it with understanding. Uh, today, Thursday, Friday, you have already put the time and say it is going to be so, mm -hmm. like as some of us have done it now, like this uh, uh, morning devotion. We have already said from 5.30 to, to 6.30. Do you know that there are many people that doesn't, they want to do it, but devil is not allowing them to do it. So we are going to pray right now, say, Lord Jesus, increase my strength. Amen. To continually seeking you. Yes. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, 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 I need you, O Lord. Jesus, increase my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, God, Father, Lord, Jesus. My Lord, my God, increase my strength, O Lord. So that I will continually seek you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, increase my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I need your power, O Lord, Father. You have the ability to continually seek you, Father, that is what I need. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We also noticed that that woman was there, there was a kind of fear in her life that made her to be coming to the man because people were troubling her mm -hmm. and he has that case mm -hmm. and there's nobody to run to. Mm -hmm. So we are going to pray right now, Lord Jesus. Whosoever, anyone that is troubling me, mm -hmm. anyone that is put that have put stress, because the stress that that woman was putting through, I mean, sorry, passing through, that is also the stress that she's giving to that uh, very judge. Mm -hmm. So we are going to pray right now. Say, Lord, whatever stress the enemy has put me and my children, mm -hmm. Father Lord, take to that control of it. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Every stress, every stress, every stress, every In Jesus' name we pray. He said in verse 8, he said, I tell you that he, okay, let me take it from 7. He said, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though 
he bear long with them. Verse 8, he said, I tell you that he will avenge him speedily. Mm -hmm. We are going to pray right now. Say, Lord Jesus, fight my battle for me. Amen. We are still crying unto you every day. Father, the battle is not finished. Father, solve my problem. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Amen. Lord Amen. Jesus, Amen. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, fight my battle, Amen. oh Lord, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Content with those that are content with me. Lord Jesus, fight everyone that is fighting me, oh Lord. Wherever they are, anywhere they are hiding, anyone that is playing am ambush on us, that is hiding to pictures, Father, Lord Holy Spirit, Father, fight our battle for us, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, fight our battle. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, fight our battle. In the name of Jesus, Father, fight the battle of every soul that are listed to us right now. The battle of their family, the battle of their career, the battle, whichever battle it may be, of their health, oh Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, fight their battle for them, oh Lord. Fight our battle in the name of Jesus. Fight the battle of the whole world right now. Jesus, fight this pandemic, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, remove this pandemic as a In the name of Jesus, but I've solved this problem. In the name of Jesus, of that boy that is sick, of that man that is sick, of that woman, of that girl, of those children, Father Lord God, there is nothing that you cannot do for us. Solve our problem for us. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, have your way. Lord Jesus, take control, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord God, take control. Jesus, Jesus, we, have Jesus Amen. Amen. we are going to pray. Let us pray for those that are looking for their spouse. Either you are a girl or you are a woman or you are a, a, a man or you are a boy. Anybody above 18 years is already a man. We are going to pray right now. It's already an adult. We are going to pray and say, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, wherever, open your mouth to pray, my brothers and my sisters. You don't know when it's going to come. Like this, uh, like this very widow. She doesn't know when God is going to answer, answer her. And this judge, he doesn't know when God is going to answer uh, because the widow did not know. So he doesn't know where the, when the judge is going to answer. That's when he is still continually uh, going, knocking, asking, seeking. We are going to pray right now. Don't be tired and say, oh, you have been in this very uh, problem for a long time. They are not coming. And when they come, something's happening. We are going to pray and say, Lord Jesus, Father, wherever the right person is, Father, locate them for me. Let us now continue to pray for them. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, my Lord, my God, I pray right now, O Lord, for those that are looking for their spouse, either our children or anybody that is on the line now. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, have your will, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, for many present and many potent, anywhere our our elders that are looking for their spouses are, oh Lord, Jesus, wherever their spouses are, my Lord, my God, Father, Lord, connect them together, their husband and their wife, oh Lord, Jesus, connect them together in the mighty name of Jesus, connect them together, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, connect them together, give them the right person, oh Lord, not the one that will be disappointing them and say, oh, after some time, after they got whatever they get in their spouse, in, in, in themselves, they now say, oh, I cannot do it. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, I break it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that yoke be broken out from that brother and out from that sister. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that yoke be broken out from our children right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that yoke be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your Holy Father. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Name, we pray. Amen. The Bible said, make us to understand in we test uh, sorry in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. He said we overcome him with the testimony of our mouth. I'm mm -hmm. going to give this for those because I was doing a Bible study yesterday 
many people may not be online. I also said it. It's, ne it's never too, it's not too many when you are giving testimony. Mm. We are going, um, what I'm trying to tell you concerning looking for your spouse or looking for, I mean, if you are a man or if you are a woman, mm. I'm still going to say it. The way God connect me and my wife together, it was very ama ama amazing and very surprising. I never, people have been saying that it do happen like that. And I now experience it myself too. What I'm trying to tell you is that if you are looking for a good spouse, don't pray for the one that you have already seen, the one that you are admiring, thinking that, oh, I wish this one can just be my husband or I wish this one can just be my wife. If you are praying that kind of prayer and you, are, you have already been thinking of that very person, whether it's Johnson or whether it's Suzanne, praise God. Any of the answer you may be getting will be reflected to that very person that you are thinking of. Mm -hmm. The time I saw my wife, the time we see each other, as she was coming, God told me, this is your wife. Praise God. I'm not telling you after the marriage and everything, there is no storm, there is nothing. But if God tell you that this is your wife, this is your husband, and you now confirm me as God has confirmed it to you, from there, every other thing that follow, God is in it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So mm -hmm. if you are, for, I'm just perceiving that somebody has been having disappointment. Somebody, people have been, telling you, okay, I am going to marry you. But after some time, it will not happen. They may even be proposing at the end of, uh, that is 11.59 minutes. They will now say, oh no, I am not going to do that. And most especially, you have to keep yourself. A man, do you know that a woman can lure you to not to keep yourself before, before, the, before the marriage? If I can, if I didn't do it, I will not be able to stand for before you now. Because not that you will know that I did not do it, but God knows. So I will not. My conscience will definitely judge me if I did not stand to that day of marriage before I have anything to do. Praise God. So you have to be very strong in that area because devil is always using it to bring people down. Once the man or the woman have gotten whatever he wants, he or she is looking for a loophole to bring you down. Many people today, you may see that person, they said, not everything that is glitter that is gold. You might see that handsome man or you might see that beautiful woman. But by the time you go more closer and you do, do did everything that you want to do, you will now see that, oh, this is, I have made a mistake again. So we are going to pray right now and say, Lord, Jesus, connect this person, give this person, this man or this woman, the wisdom or the ability to wait upon the Lord or to seek this face of God in this very area. Let us now continue to pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, give this man, O Lord, Father, or this woman the ability, Father, to wait, to, uh, to, to wait upon you, O Lord, in this very area, in terms of looking for their, their spouse, Father, Lord Jesus, give them the strength, O Lord, to wait, O Lord, in the might of Jesus, to do it right with you, in the might of Jesus. Father, Lord, give them the strength, give them the patience, the work of flesh that want to bring them down. Father, Lord, remove that work of flesh out from them in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, remove the work of flesh out from them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, take control. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take absolute control, O Lord, Father. Infuse your spirit into them, O Lord. Increase their faith so that they will know that no matter who that person is, O Lord, Jesus will be God that created that person. If that person is really the right person for them, O oh Lord. My Lord, my God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, have your way, O oh Lord. Jesus, perform your miracle in their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us also pray for these people and say, Lord, every yoke of 
delay marriage, let us now continue to break it out from there, either mm -hmm. from our children or from everyone that is going to listen or that have that is already listening now. Wherever that yoke may be, every yoke of late marriage, let us now continue to break it. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, I break every yoke of late marriage right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every yoke of late marriage, I command it to be broken out from their life in the mighty name of Jesus, from our children's life, from our, uh, our friends and well wishers. Father Lord Jesus, as many as every soul that are listening to us right now, I break that yoke of late marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I break that yoke right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every yoke of late marriage, let it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every yoke of late marriage, I break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I break that yoke of late marriage. Let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I don't know where prayer is coming for this for this set of people. We are going to pray for them. The people, the, the demon that is standing against that late marriage or for you not to have success in your marriage is a spiritual wife or spiritual husband. Let us now continue to pray because they are very jealous. If somebody is a man have it as a wife, is a woman have it as a husband, it's always difficult because they, they will not make you to choose the right person or they will not make you to have the right, I mean, a, a good decision in everything that you want to do concerning your your settlement but let us now pray and say lord every spiritual wife and spiritual husband that is attacking my marriage whether you are married now or you are about to marry or you are looking you are you are, you are looking for your spouse continue to pray and say lord every spiritual wife or spiritual husband let us now continue to break it in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, my Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, every spiritual wife or spiritual husband that is attacking this set of people, let, it be, let them be destroyed right now. I command them to die in the mighty name of Jesus. You that spiritual wife, you that woman, you that man that is having sex in the dream, I terminate that connection right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I break that yoke out from you in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of incubus and succubus that is tormenting you in the night. I break that yoke right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord God, let that yoke be broken out from there today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every ring that has been given to you in the dream, I cancel it right now. I remove that ring out from your hand right now, out from your finger right now in the name of Jesus. Let that yoke be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Omnipresent and omnipotent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command that yoke to be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever every gun, every wedding gun or wedding suit that you have put on with that woman or with that man, that spiritual wife and spiritual husband, I command it to be, I burn it to ashes right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I use the fire of God to burn it to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any one of you that is seeing this or herself inside the, inside, the, inside, the, inside the water, swimming in the water, making a marriage in the water. I command that water to get dry out from your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to get dry in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm in the present and the potent God. Visit this person, O Lord Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Do that marry power. I cast you out from that woman. I cast you out from that man in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hand that is against your, your, your progress, let it be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to be destroyed. I command that evil hand to paralyze right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that evil hand be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that hand be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control, Jesus. Father, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, Father. I worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. I just want to read the, the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 24 and 25 for us to see. The, why we have to be praying in every occasion, in everything that you want to do. Even if you want to eat, if you want to do anything, if you want to go for shopping, you have to pray because prayer is the master key. Mm -hmm. Let me re read it for us. You will also read it in French. He said, uh, 
and they pray. Okay, I take it from uh, from verse uh, twenty-three. Uh, he said, and they appointed to Joseph called Bansabas, who was a uh, son named uh, Justice and Matthias, verse 24. And they pray and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the heart of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, verse 25. Ask that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Judah by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. Praise God. The, what this prayer, I mean, how this prayer came was that after the death of uh, when uh, Judah is carried, after he have committed suicide. So they were now, the apostles, the 11 apostles that remained, before, after the ascension of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ had already ascended to heaven. So they were now looking for replacement. They did not just choose one of those men that was with them and say, oh, you come, you have been very good, you are coming to church or you have been following them anywhere they want to go. Now they committed themselves because they learned from their master. Who is their master? Jesus Christ. Anything Jesus Christ wants to do, he always pray. Pray to the Father. He did not also say that himself is God. I say, no, I don't need to take authority from anybody. Praise God. So they prayed and God gave them the right person. They brought two people out. Then they did not just say, oh, Matthias, you are the one that is going to. They did what God wanted them to do and God chose the right person for them. That is the more reason why you have to pray concerning this because it's your life partner or it's your, it's your, let me say, it's a life partner because when you pray concerning it, that marriage, God will uphold it and you yeah. commit it to God, God will definitely uphold it. Yeah. So I have, we are going to pray right now. Say, Lord, give me the power to pray and not to faint according to the, the topic of the of the of this uh, morning devotion today's topic he said may always ought to pray and not to faint let us now pray and say lord father give me the power to pray and not to faint and not to be weak and not to be weary continue to pray right now uh, oh sorry read your at the chapter 1 verse 23 il présentait aux deux, Joseph appelé Barsabas, surnommé Judas et Matthias. Puis ils firent cette prière, Seigneur, toi qui connais le cœur de tous, désigne le cœur de ces deux qui a choisi. C'est pourquoi mes bien aimé surtout tous les points de mariage, ce Dieu qui connaît le cœur de Dieu qui peut te choisir, c'est ce qui, 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 qui lui va... Rester à toi jusqu'à avec toi jusqu'à la fin. Parce que le mariage aujourd'hui, jusqu'à la fin, jusqu à, à, à moins que la mort nous sépare, c'est quelque chose que vous allez vivre éternellement. Alors il faut faire euh, que Dieu nous aide, que Dieu vous aide à faire un bon choix. Dans tout ce pourquoi nous, devons, nous allons prier à Dieu de te connecter avec l'homme, avec la femme que Dieu a désigné pour toi. Amen. Let's pray. Father Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, give me the strength to pray, O oh Lord, and not to fight. I don't want to be weak, O oh Lord. Anyone that is under the sound of our voices right now, Jesus, I don't want that person to be weak in prayer, O oh Lord. Father, impute your spirit into them, O oh Lord. The power to pray always. Father, put it in them. And the power to seek your face for anything. And for their on their career, their marriage, on the, on the, I mean, the side of the children, anything they want to do, Father, in future spirit of prayer into them, O oh Lord, give them the faith to pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the strength to pray that prayer that will give them what they want. Father, Lord, give them, grant it unto them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you this morning, Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Over to you. 
Eh bien aimé, uh, my brethren, we are at the end of our morning devotion today. We are going to concentrate prayer. I pray in French, I pray in English. Okay. Eternal des armées, Dieu des gloires, le Dieu de tout puissant, c'est le Seigneur d'Israël. Nous venons auprès de toi pour ce matin te dire merci. Merci pour cette parole d'accouragement qui est sortie ce matin, car tu nous dis que nous devons va toujours prier et pas il pas se les relâcher le torrent des désarmé de la gauche Dieu merci pour la force que tu nous as donné papa pour continuer à prier et nous se relâcher au nom de Jésus Christ c'est à toi qui écoute nos prières tu as écouté la prière de mon frère la prière de ma soeur la prière de nos enfants qui ont crié vers toi mon Dieu mon roi ce matin au nom de Jésus Christ c'est toi qui connais le puissant de le cœur et le règne mon Dieu mon roi tu connais ce que mes bien-aimés sont en train de traverser le sein d'Israël tu es la solution à leurs problèmes. Tu es la délivrance, mon Dieu, mon roi. Tu es la guérison. Alléluia pour ceux qui sont malades, pour ceux qui sont, mon Dieu, mon roi. À prisonner, tu auras des armées de, de gloire. Que ta main puissante, mon Dieu, mon roi, le localise partout là ils sont, mon Dieu, mon roi, pour les délivrer, pour les donner la solution, pour les guérir. Et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Car à toi, mon Dieu, mon roi, rien n'est pas possible à toi. Et rien n'est possible à celui qui quoi à toi. Comme ta parole, tu nous as donné l'exemple de cette femme veuve, mon Dieu, mon roi, qui continue, mon Dieu, mon roi, à déranger les juges et juges s'est levé pour acquitter, mon Dieu, mon roi, et combien plus forte raison, toi, notre Père Céleste, oh, te rends des armes et t'inviendras vite sur le problème, mon Dieu, mon roi, de tes enfants qui crient vers toi, jour et nuit, oh, te rends des armes de, de gloire, soutiens tes enfants, papa, intervient, délivre, guéris, sauve tes enfants, et c'est là au nom plus sang de Jésus Christ. Je t'en prie de celle d'Israël d'augmenter la foi de tes enfants. Augmente notre foi au nom de Jésus Christ. Augmente mon Dieu, mon roi, notre foi au nom de Christ. Ne laisse pas tes enfants égarer pour aller chercher la solution ailleurs. Et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Donne au nom de Jésus Christ. Donne-nous la force de prier. Donne-nous la force de lire la parole de Dieu. Donne-nous la force, mon Dieu, mon roi, de se tenir debout quelle que soit l'affliction, quelle que soit la maladie, au nom de Jésus-Christ, afin que les jours-là, quand Jésus-Christ va venir dans la gloire, qu'on se retrouve ensemble avec lui, et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, mon, mon, mon Père, mon Père, mon Dieu, mon Roi, mon Seigneur, mon Sauveur, je t'invoque ce matin au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, c'est pour la vie de mon frère, pour la vie de ma soeur qui, qui, qui a été créée vers toi, oh, toi qui écoutes le prière de ce pas écoute le cri, écoute mon Dieu, mon Roi, et sur les larmes de leurs yeux et c'est là au nom de Jésus Christ, donne-le à selon leur cœur désir et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus Christ et ta, ta main puissante ce matin pour délivrer cet ennemi enfermé dans les prisons sataniques et diaboliques au nom puissant de Jésus Christ, papa, et ta, ta main puissante, mon Dieu, sauve nos enfants, délivre nos enfants et guéris nos enfants au nom puissant de Jésus Christ, Peut-être que je demande la puissance du Saint-Esprit de nous accompagner, d'accompagner mes bien-aimés aujourd'hui. Et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ que le Saint-Esprit dirige, que le Saint-Esprit oriente leur pas au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, qui ne tombe pas dans le piège de l'ennemi. Et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Père, je te dis merci, Papa. Je t'adore, je t'exalte, puisque tu es le Dieu d'amour, le Dieu de paix, le Dieu qui écoute, le Dieu qui voit. Oui, tu nous réponds, mais pas tu nous donnes même ce qu'on n'a pas demandé, puisque tu sais qu'on aura besoin de ça. C'est pourquoi je te dis merci. C'est pourquoi je t'adore. Je te recommande, mes bien-aimés, je te recommande cette journée à tes sept semaines de celle d'Israël, que tu donnes la paix, la joie, mon Dieu, mon roi, dans le cœur, dans la vie de tes enfants, dans le monde entier, mon Dieu, mon roi, et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Donne la paix à nos enfants, donne la sagesse à nos enfants, donne l'intelligence à nos enfants, afin qu'ils sachent, mon Dieu, prendre de bonnes décisions et c'est là au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Père, que ton nom soit glorifié, que ton nom soit exalté, que ton nom soit magnifié. Nous te couronnons de grâce et d'honneur ce matin, puisque tu es Dieu qui voit tout, qui connaît tout, qui, qui agit au-delà de ce que nous demandons, au-delà de ce que nous espérons. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ, je suis prié. Amen. Please just give me some seconds to pray. I'm sorry to sing this song. Be glorified, 
be glorified. Be glorified, O oh Lord. Be glorified. Be glorified in the heaven. Be glorified in the earth, Jesus. Be glorified in this temple, oh Lord. Be Jesus, Jesus, be thou glorified again. Be glorified, oh Lord. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified, Holy Ghost. Be glorified. Be glorified in the heavens. Be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in this temple, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, be thou glorified. My brothers and my sisters, let that song be your song this morning. Let it be your prayer that God should be glorified. Let God be glorified in your life, in your situation, in the life of your marriage, in the life of your your loved one, the life of your children. I pray this day that Lord Jesus be glorified in the life of that very person in the name of Jesus. The temple that you are talking of, you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Father Lord Jesus, be glorified in their life, O oh Lord, in everywhere they go. Father Lord, let your name be glorified. Amen. Wherever they step on from today, O oh Lord, be glorified in this in their temple, be glorified in their life, be glorified in any work of their hand. Lord Jesus, be glorified in everything they do, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let their life glorify you. Let our own life, O oh Lord, be also glorify, glorify you, O oh Lord. The life of our children, the life of our loved ones. As many as these children that are here, that are listening to us right now, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be glorified in their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Manifest, O oh Lord, your power in the mighty name of Jesus. We have less than a few days for this for this month of for this month of February to expire, Jesus glorify yourself in this in their life, O oh Lord. There are many prayers that they have prayed for this month, O oh Lord. Jesus, Holy Spirit, the answer to the prayer, Father, be glorified in their life, O oh Lord. Be glorified, Jesus, in everything that you want to do in our life, in our marriage. Father Lord, be glorified, O oh Lord. In global life, apostolic ministry, let be glorified, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Glen Gospel Radio, Father, be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In our situation, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be glorified, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the life of our grandchildren, Father, be glorified, O oh Lord. In the work of our hands, the assignment, the mission that you have given us, Father, be glorified right now. That man and that woman that is looking for their Spouse, O oh Lord, be glorified in those situations in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, be glorified in the life of this country, O oh Lord, in the whole world right now. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. We God bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you adoration. We thank you because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And I soak everyone in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord God forever and ever. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, before we go, tomorrow our three days fasting is starting. That is Friday, Saturday. And Sunday, we'll break after service on Sunday. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Just try to do it. There's always benefit in seeking the face of God. God Amen. bless us. Amen. Shalom, shalom.
Thank you very much.